Hello everybody, um, this is uh, Canadian Greek Me, and I've been doing a little extra research on uh, Comet Ison C2012S1 because um, I'm just um, not buying NASA's uh, official numbers uh, for this comet. Uh, they're saying that it's going to be the comet of the century, possibly the millennium, and then they're telling us it's, gonna, it's only five miles wide. Uh, something nah, that's, that, that, that's not right. And I found uh, something very interesting. So, let's have a look at what I found. Uh, this is Comet Ison. Okay. And let's just go read this, what it, what it says here. Okay, first impression, it's spherical. Icy objects need to be over 400 kilometers in diameter to reach hydrostatic equilibrium with gravity uh, and take on spherical shape. Okay, so that's a big mountain. It's not five miles in diameter. Okay. Then I noticed the angular diameter scale in arc seconds. C twenty twelve S one is fifteen arc seconds wide. That's fifty thousand kilometers. Okay. At five point two two AU distance from the sun. Jupiter at the same distance is thirty arc seconds. Okay. The same width as a scale line. So here's a scale line. All right. This is Ison. Now, if this was Jupiter, it would be this way. Okay. Uh, and NASA's trying to tell us that this thing is what five miles in diameter? Yeah, right. Um, this thing is huge, uh, guys, and it's headed right for us. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting something this big. I mean, I thought, it, you know. I knew NASA was, you know, full of it, but um, I thought it would be something, you know, maybe yeah, as big as our moon, um, you know what I mean? Um, I wasn't expecting something to be half the size of Jupiter. This thing is huge. And to add to that, Comet C2012 S1 Ison, picture was taken in January 2013. There it is, 30 yard seconds. Okay, measurement line. Uh, this thing is about half that, so it's 15 arc seconds. So it's about half the size of Jupiter. Okay, uh, 15 arc seconds at 5.5 uh, AU, which is actually 5.22. Okay. Diameter in metric units, 50,000 kilometers. And it's bringing in some trash with it. Um, that moon there, uh, call it a moon, call it trash, call it whatever you want to call it. That's pretty big. Um, that is pretty big for trash. And there's more of them here. Uh, I've seen another video where there's possibly seven other objects coming in with this thing. Ah, uh, we're in for a lot of trouble. We are in big trouble because when this thing reacts with the sun and uh, the solar flare is going to be, I mean, unbelievable. Um, let alone the trash and it's going to come slinging in with it. Um, no wonder the tail is going to be, you know, 2 AU uh, when, it, when it comes slinging around the sun. Um, that's, why, that's why they're saying that it's going to have a 200,000 kilometer tail. Now it makes sense. I mean, guys, man, this is like half the size of Jupiter. I mean, that's... Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep looking. I mean, um, I knew NASA was full of it, but I wasn't expecting this. Um, wow. If uh, you guys uh, come up with anything, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, help me out a little. If you have any more information, I would appreciate it. I mean, um, oh, wow. Anyways. That's it, guys. Um, but at least now we have an idea as to what we can be expecting come November, right? And none of this bull, you know what? That NASA's trying to pass us off as a five mile wide, you know, comet. This is huge. I mean, huge.
I was expecting something to be, you know, I, I, was, I really was expecting this thing to be as big as our moon, but I wasn't expecting this. But I'll keep looking. I mean, um, uh, I guess I'll have to wait maybe, you know, until um, it comes a little closer. We can get some more amateur astronomers looking at this thing. Maybe we can get some uh, tighter measurements. Maybe we can get something more accurate. I don't know if this is entirely accurate or not. Um, if, um, if the measurement line and everything is the way it is, then it is what it is. It is half the size of Jupiter. If everything, if everything is accurate. Um, so that means we're in, for a, we're in for a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I can't even begin to start thinking about what's going to happen now. Um, this thing could possibly knock um, Mars out of its orbit. It could pull Mars right out of its orbit, man. This thing's half the size of Jupiter. It's huge. Anyways, um, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you guys um, have any other information, please share. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm out.